Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Kat at spiritual-candy.com awakening with you to the relationship you really want with today's free online tarot pick a card reading and it is what will they do next? Today's reading is intuitive and remember it's also general so some of the messages may not resonate. If they don't, just ignore them and take whatever does. If you do want your own private reading, it's £20 for 20 minutes and you get your reading within 48 hours or less. It's normally around 24, but it can go up to 48, okay? If you want to book a reading, you can go to the description box below or to spiritualcandy.com, spiritual-candy.com even, <laughs> where you will find a book a reading page, okay? So my goal at Spiritual Candy is to help you to have a better relationship with yourself the universe and others. So for more free tools and books on spiritual relationships, please head over to spiritual-candy.com and check it out. So I hope you're all really great today and that you find today's reading helpful. If you do, please like it and feel free to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified of future messages from the guides. Okay, so let's get on with it. Hi number ones, how are you doing? So what will they do next? <laughs> I can't decide, let's go, that doesn't matter, let's put them that way. <laughs> right, so what will they do next? Okay, they are having issues with self-worth, you are lovable, but things are looking up they're starting to feel a little bit better about themselves. Is this person going through a breakup? Are you waiting for them to get over a breakup? Are you waiting for them to move on from something, on from someone? Are they still healing from something? Have you had an argument and they're trying to get over it? They're trying to get over something, but the good news is they are starting to feel more lovable, i.e. better about themselves. So they are starting to move on from whatever it was, whether it was a tiff, an argument, an issue, or an old relationship. They are starting to move out of the danger zone, so to speak. However, they're not fully healed yet, okay? And it's not gonna happen straight away, I don't think. You know, you've got the star, so there is an opportunity coming, and I think that they will take some sort of action but it won't be what you were expecting and it will come at the last minute so it'll be kind of the 11th hour they kind of do something or say something or they come towards you with some idea you know whatever it is the point is that they will act kind of in a way you weren't expecting because the start is Yes, you'll get what you wanted or things can go the way you wanted them to, but it won't be the route you were expecting or it will be a little bit different to what you were expecting. So it will have a sort of a slightly magical slash surprising element to it and it will be probably at the 11th hour. But the good news is that this person, your person, sorry, is starting to feel like they're moving out of that really difficult danger zone and they're starting to feel better about themselves. Thank you so much, number ones. I'll see you guys tomorrow or on a private reading. In the meantime, please like and subscribe. Hi, number twos. How are you doing? I hope you're great. So what will they do next? What will they do next? Right. This person, uh, this person is a bit fed up with the ag and the difficulty. So I think either energetically or literally, there's been some issues, could be arguments, falling out, five of ones in reverse. There's definitely, a, you know, butting of heads, locking of horns. There's a sense that you guys have either been falling out energetically or in real life or there's been some, you know, negative energy, some frosty energy, some difficult energy. There's a sense that things, you're grating on each other at the minute. Um, energetically or in real life, there's a sense that there's this grating, it's not working, it's feeling uncomfortable and difficult. You can't seem to find a way. This person is wanting to free themselves of this situation. They want to take back control so they're freeing themselves. This probably means that because of this combative type energy, they're backing away or they're taking themselves off. 
doesn't necessarily mean they're going away forever, but they are freeing themselves of it. They don't want to keep trying to kind of deal with this energy anymore. Even if they created it, they're just like, oh, I can't be doing with this anymore. So they're kind of going to go and just go off and do their own thing. This full energy, it's like, you know, in a way, what it's saying is they're going to start afresh. They just want to leave this annoying situation behind, start something else, move on, take a leap of faith, um, leave the baggage behind, start anew. However, with the fall, when we're talking about what will they do next, it's like, well, expect the unexpected. So in a way, it's like, well, yeah, they're going to free themselves from this aggy situation. They just want to let go of this difficult situation and move forwards. But the fool says, yeah, but expect the unexpected. There may be a surprise. <laughs> they may not do what you're expecting them to do. So, you know, what I would say is the fool is generally a really strong positive energy and it does kind of trump this minor arcana here because also this is real low energy, this kind of like arguing. It's very sort of low vibe. So this fool energy definitely trumps it. And the fool is basically at its essence really positive it's like a fresh start a new chance you know so i think on the whole it's positive but this person is like they just don't want this difficulty anymore and they'll it feels to me like they'll almost do whatever it takes to stop this like you know butting up against each other energy this negative energy Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So much love, number twos. I will see you tomorrow or on a private reading in the meantime. See you soon, guys. Oh, what am I doing? Hi, number threes. How are you doing? I hope you are great. So what will they do next? Okay, this is really nice. Really, really nice. What they're planning to do, they do want to give the relationship a chance okay now this is very emphatically a yes they want you they want the situation so i am going to put in the caveat because most of the time there's some room for some uh, some wiggle room in each group where it can be interpreted this way it can be interpreted that way Whenever it, it feels really strongly and emphatically a certain outcome, I do like to say, remember, it's general. So if your intuition tells you that you are dating a lunatic or a narcissist, um, uh, you know, basically use your common sense and listen to your intuition above anybody else. However, you know, whoever it is, listen to your intuition above everything. Your guides are your, your guides, your angels and your own intuition are your best way of knowing what's going on. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, the reason I'm saying all that is because I just don't want to mislead anyone or to send anyone down the wrong path or, you know, to, for anyone to get hurt, you know, as a result of anything I may say, because I'm going to say that for the majority of you, but not all of you, this person wants to take this relationship forwards. They want to give the relationship a chance. They want to work on the situation. They see it as a prosperous situation. They see it as stable, as something they want. Potentially, they want to take things forward in terms of a commitment, because this card can be seen as a marriage card. So it can, be, or anything to do with like, putting down some foundations, putting down some roots. So it can be about moving in together, taking the next step together. If you're just casually dating, it can be about like going steady as they used to call it, you know, like getting into, you know, being like official on social media or whatever, you know what I mean? The point is this person's wanting to take it up, a, you know, up a gear. They're wanting to kind of make it official um, so that's what they want to do next. But interestingly, Page of Pentacles, you know, this person is really enthusiastic. It's good news. They want to bring you good news. They're going to bring you good news next. You know, it's not going to be bad for the majority of you. Um, I mean, it's not, I'm not saying it's going to be bad for any of you, but what I'm saying is that, you know, on the whole, it's, um, it's a positive good news message. But this person... They've got all the intention, they want to give the relationship a chance, they want to 
solidify the situation, they want to move to the next level. But at the minute, this person doesn't have a huge amount to offer. Might be that financially they don't have much to offer, or it could be in another way. I feel like it's more practical. You know, maybe they've not got the amazing job yet. Maybe they can't actually afford to get married yet or whatever. But the point is this person is their offering is genuine. It's just they haven't got the world to offer you in terms of the practicalities at the moment. So I hope this makes sense. So much love number threes. I'll see you tomorrow or on a private reading in the meantime. See you soon guys. Take care.